Good evening, everybody. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank EQ Magazine and Anand for giving us a chance. Uh, basically, uh, not into manufacturing technology or core technology, but uh, our company is more into applied engineering, and uh, we try to add uh, value to the client at the design and customization end. Uh, so, why renewables? I think I will really skip this slide because. Uh, but typically one or two points I would like to cover is because of the need and economic activities required, uh, renewables is something which will really help us to curb pollution while people movement, goods movement and other all activities cannot be curtailed by the government. So the plan is to move to renewables which as an alternative can help us move forward in a sustainable manner. Uh, solar PV systems of course everybody is from the industry so we don't need to sell solar but uh, it of course, makes much more sense because it is modular and scalable. Uh, these have been all covered by my earlier uh, esteemed uh, sessions uh, speakers. Uh, here is something which I would like to touch upon. Uh, even though being from the solar industry, uh, trying to bid for small scale solar farms as well as rooftop solars, uh, we have a slightly different perspective as far as uh, solar installations uh, in the country is concerned. Uh, we feel solar mega farms actually lock in a lot of scarce resources in the uh, in the country. Of course, then even the rooftops also do that. Then very high transmission and distribution infrastructure cost, TND losses varying between 15 to 23 percent. And of course, uh, thefts, which is additional to this. This is all again required to deliver the uh, finally the energy to the consumer. Uh, we have all been hearing about financially distressed discoms how they are not uh, allowing evacuation of uh, uh, energy from the uh, operating assets. And uh, of course, uh, in a country like India, we still don't have a developed ecosystem for the disposal uh, and uh, environmental hazards which the modules and uh, the installations can have after their operating life. And uh, what we then recommend, we always uh, would like to recommend that on-site uh, installations, which is basically you generate very close to your consumption, should be the way ahead uh, for the country to take care of all these issues. Uh, typical installation potential when we talk about uh, for a semi-urban area, not talking about Mumbai or Delhi, NCR or uh, the large cities, but others, a conventional solar system with a 10.5 square meters per kilowatt peak of installation actually just uh, enables an energy independence of 10 to 15 percent for a building structure. We have uh, elevated building uh, integrated solutions uh, which can enable about 40 to 45 percent of energy independence and uh, we as an innovative company has now also developed uh, solutions which can uh, you know install on the facades also so which would help you to generate uh, and uh, have energy independence of about 70 to 80 percent. So the paradigm shift needs to be in not going for the conventional solar farms or the conventional rooftop systems, but trying to utilize every cubic square feet or square meter of a structure. Uh, we in our, uh, what's our value proposition? Of course, we have the right experience of professionals uh, in the house designing team, uh, and panel team of experienced professionals. Uh, we have uh, association with leading architects, PMCs, smart city consultants for promoting this uh, path breaking solutions. And of course, we have emphasis on the adherence to the best operating practices. Uh, the, uh, you would have been uh, hearing and seeing the problems which a lot of structures are facing, uh, whether it is in Mumbai, the recent fire, or even in London, which happened. So for the canopies or the rooftop uh, uh, areas which are developed by not so fire friendly uh, uh, materials. So we have basically designing our system with fire class rating A. The modules and structures can withstand almost 220 kilometers of our wind loads. Uh, we can offer leak proof services and uh, 30 years of manufacturers and third party warranties are there. ROIs are very inter interesting even though these systems are a bit premium. Some systems designed by us, uh, which will now be in the installation stages. We, we have been actually engaging in almost 12 months to 18 months of uh, uh, engagements with the clients right from the design concept stage of building. And then the stage which comes wherein we can then go, with, uh, go ahead with our installations. 
So this is one of uh, Bangalore's for which we are doing. Uh, this is for uh, ITACZ Park for which we are doing uh, uh, design the system now, which installation should happen somewhere around uh, next three months. Uh, we also proposed a design for a facade. So typically you see uh, south side, uh, the tendency in India is to have aluminum composite panels or ACPs. So we can give a full uh, facade on the south side and we have designers which can give the facade set and a combination of existing materials like glasses and ACPs also. Uh, this is again one health club that we are designing which is going to be coming up in Pune. Uh, so we have a potential which is talking about residential industrial buildings, commercial structures, parking base, charging stations, sports arenas, metro stations. So we've already submitted designs to one of the metros in India. Uh, out of the 60 stations, they are trying to consider this for two of their stations. Uh, this is a photo of an actual parking lot in uh, Europe, Spain basically, where uh, this is also serving as a charging station. And now with the, uh, the uh, emphasis on EVs, this is something which would be uh, the need of the future. So thank you very everybody for your attention. Thank you very much. Is your, okay. So Sandeep will take it and then you have your presentation. Good evening all, I'm Suresh More, representing Silip Technologies and handling uh, western and southern portion of the country. Basically we are known for DC solar water pump company and along with that we have started manufacturing of various components which are used for uh, solar parks and solar, uh, as a solar components. Silip is an uh, Indian organization based in Pune and uh, we have started our initiation in uh, uh, R&D activities in 2012. Then actual development of water pump and of grid inverters, development and field testing in 2013 to 16, and actual launching of Silif as a brand in November 2016. So in true sense, we are one year young company with uh, very successful invoicing of DC solar water pump in various tenders across India. And right now, we are also getting very good responses from all our contractors in India. So Silif has a portfolio. Silif is manufacturer for, I mean, we are a manufacturer company for DC water pumps, emerge inverter, that is off-grid inverters, string inverters, data logger, solid grid for power management controlling. I will take a quick review on pumps actually. As far as Indian scenario is concerned, we have got uh, separate segments for application of pumping, wherein agriculture and domestic application is much compared to the other, the other applications like industrial and other miscellaneous. So as far as our company is concerned in DC solar water pump, we are basically focusing on agriculture as well as drinking water application pump sets. So if you take the quick glance, the 43 percentage of consumption is agriculture and the six percentage is for lift irrigation that is in again agriculture, domestic consumption that is six, 30 percent, industrial is 13 percent and miscellaneous is eight percent. This is how the pumping scenario in our India. In agriculture, uh, there are breakup of the HPs like it starts from three HP, five HP, 7.5 HP, 10 HP and about 10 HP. So 11 percentage consumption is for near about 3 HP, 41 that is very highest consumption of uh, 5 HP pump sets across India for agriculture pump set. Then that uh, 7.5 is 22 percentage across India for agriculture purpose again. And then as I said lift irrigation it starts uh, 10 and above HPs that is 10 HP 10 percentage and 10 and above it is 16 percentage. This is how the breakup of HPs across India. Earlier, uh, there were the trend of pump set which were basically a monoblock and uh, surface pumps, but now te uh, technology changes. People are adopting the new technologies and that is submersible pump set, or else open submersible pump set. So percentage has got reverse actually. If you take, if you see the submersible, the usage of submersible pump in India is now 75 percentage and 25 percentage only on surface pump, that is monoblock or surface pump sets. The, uh, so the portion of 3 HP and 3 HP and 5 HP is now aggressively take, I mean, uh, taken care by government through various tenders. Government want all these pumps to be replaced on solar, so that it will not be load on the uh, grid actually, and that is how the government is 
running the solar pumping program across country. So government actually started this solar pumping program in 19, 1992. And uh, currently, uh, the government is focusing more on uh, solar pumping application and solar pumping encouragement to the farmers by various schemes and various tenders and in various states of India. So now government, 2020-21, uh, uh, the aim of government, Indian government, is to install near about 10 lakh pumps, that is 1 million pumps across country. Uh, so that it can again relieve the rate uh, load on uh, grid uh, uh, grid power and farmers will be individual for their pumping applications because the scenario right now is farmers are more dependent on grid power and grid power is not available for them in a daytime daytime uh, there is no power available they have to rush to the farm in the night uh, session and then there are various accidents happens and, and there are a long story actually and uh, this is how government is taking these steps, actually. So Silif is manufacturing uh, DC solar water pump. We have got our plant in Bangalore. Uh, DC solar water pump, as far as Silif is concerned, we are BLDC motored solar water pump with a two MPPT controller, with our own controller, long working hours as, per, uh, as compared to AC pump because there are two segments in pump sets, that is AC and DC. So currently, majority people are using AC pumps. So over AC pump, so it, it, it works longer hour, 25% uh, higher output than AC pumps, least maintenance compared to AC because this is BLDC motor. And currently we have got 0.5 to 5 HP range available in our kitty. Soon we will be launching 7.5 and 10 HP, that is in DC supply. And then it is uh, off-grid inverter uh, with superior MPPT algorithm multi-level inbuilt protections to handle surge current, uh, current short circuit overloads, graphical LCD display, then configurable energy management power. Then we just launched string inverter in Intersolar Mumbai. So it is completely indigenous again, dual and single MPPT, high efficiency, three and five kilowatt is available right now with us. Data logger is another feather. It is again launched in InterSolar Mumbai, remote monitoring all over the plant, manages solar power plant by monitoring every stage, monitors grid and DG parameters, inbuilt functionality to monitor grid versus solar power consumption. Other than that, this is uh, some screenshots, which you, all you know, I will, I will skip it. Then this is SolGrid, power management controller. It is nothing but a synchronizer between uh, there are some situations like uh, grid is grid, solar and DG gen set, so it is, it is a product which really synchronizes among three sources and it has got a remote monitoring, a reverse power control, then optimization of generation, data logging system, synchronization in different power sources. So Silif has an advantage, completely indigenized company, it is Indian company based in Pune. We have got two factories, one is in Pune, other is in Bangalore. In Bangalore we are focusing and we have got complete setup of uh, DC solar pumps, designed for Indian environment, service across India. We have got near about nine service centers across India. Research and development center in Pune and Bangalore. Thank you very much. Thanks, Suresh. <clears throat> so yours is the... Uh, we are uh, based at Pune, sorry, uh, Tane. And we are a 100 years old company and uh, we took our anchor by Electricals with uh, 55 years back. And uh, we are doing almost close to 7.55 trillion in uh, Japanese yen. And we have got uh, almost 475 uh, companies in all over the world. And uh, we have gone into appliances. Panasonic has been known to uh, appliances, avionics, eco solutions, and automobile industry. And we fall into eco solutions. And uh, we fall into ISAMIA, we call it as uh, India, South Africa, Middle East and Asian countries. We operate from India. And uh, it's okay. Yes, sir. So we have got a presentations and uh, presence in all over the world. And we install close to four gigawatt uh, of solar modules, which is predominantly in Japan, USA and European countries. In India, we launched four years back with high efficiency modules. Predominantly, we started our operations in uh, Rooftop applications. Now we have started even our ground mounted application in uh, Sira, which is in Tumkur. 
uh, close to 30 gigawatt, 30 megawatt. And we have got factories uh, in India, uh, say from Jajar, we have got an appliances factory and we have got a uh, battery factory in Inbarod. And Anchor by Panasonic, we have got a manufacturing place in Daman as well as in Aridwar. And the Panasonic Corporation, we fall into Panasonic Eco Solutions, and uh, it has been uh, Anchor Electricals has been won by 100% stake owned by Panasonic. And uh, coming to a uh, solar, we started uh, 27 years back. You must be aware of uh, Sanyo Electricals, which you used into uh, calculators and watches you should see. And we are the pioneers in into amorphous silicon, which has been used in spacecraft. Uh, we developed a uh, unique technology called HIT. It's called heterojunction interesting technology, where we're using a n-type silicon cell, and uh, it's a five-inch, five-inch square cell, and uh, above that we apply a layer of amorphous silicon. So we take the characteristics of both uh, monocrystalline as well as the amorphous silicon, and uh, which is of a uh, silicon cell of 99.19 purity, which is highest, which has been used in Intel also. So what we require is only 75 square feet of area for installing a one kilowatt of uh, solar module. Whereas in polyer and mono, we'll be requiring almost 100 square feet. What is HIT? Uh, it's again a monocrystalline module, uh, which use a N-type silicon cell. And above that, we have got amorphous silicon. Why we are using amorphous silicon is actually to work on all light spectrum. And it has got a least thermal coefficient, say around 0.258, which has been the uh, lowest in the industry. And starting from silicon to ingot, wafer, and cell, and the modules, all manufactured in our own. And we got a cell manufacturing facility in Oregon in the USA. And we got a model manufacturing plant in uh, two plants in Japan and one plant in Malaysia. And the R&D we have is, is almost 25.6% as a cell efficiency. And mass production we are doing almost close to 22% of the efficiency which are using it out. And uh, what is the advantage in using HIT? With a limited space, roof space, you can able to generate more amount of power. Say in terms of RPO or SPO, you are concerned. Say you have been a constrained in roof space where you can install more amount of module. Whereas HIT, say around 1.6 square meter of area, you can generate almost 325, which is equivalent of a 260 watt of polycrystal modules. So there is a catch, and second thing is the temperature is almost say 45 degree to 50 degree of temperature in almost every places. So when the temperature goes up, your power generation has been lesser. So with the help of uh, amorphous silicon, which have been added here, we can able to generate more amount of power, which is almost close. If you're going to compare with the uh, space to space, it'll be around 30% more. And if you're going to compare from module to module, it'll be around 13% more efficient. And uh, all the models have been tested with uh, three times of IEC, uh, which you do. And it has been a 100% PID free. And uh, first year, the very first year, will not have any degradation. And after that, there will be year on year 0.33% of degradation, which you can see in polycrystal of 0.7%. And uh, it's been a symmetrical and uh, flexible cells. And after 10 years, you will have a uh, power output per say around 94.8% in a HIT module, whereas compared to of a 90.6 in a polycrystal modules. Less micro cracks since and it's been a pyramid in structure, we can able to generate more amount of power. And apart from the IEC, we do a close to in-house 20 test of various tests like heat dampness test or even the salt mist test, which has been to increase the durability of the product. So as many of them have spoken about the selection of raw materials, yes, the EVA, it matters a lot. Not only it shades changes in color, but it even applies to the snail crack test also. So that's the one thing you should be able to understand. And we've got a provision of a water drain facility also in HIT modules. And there's a less chance of failure rate. We, we almost have, say 0.003% is a failure rate which have been assumed. And there is no toxic materials like lead has not been anything very used over there. And what you require is actually a lesser roof space where you can able to generate more amount of power. What you got is the more amount of watt per meter square, that is the power density has been more, and uh, lesser degradation in the modules, and a lower failure rate, which results to a higher cash flow as an investor if you see, and your higher profit for the 25 years down the line, and the lower financing risk. As an investor, what you'll see is the return on investment. If you're going to compare with the poly to HIT, 
Yes, your return on investment will be around three years or three and a half years for a polycrystal modules. Where in HIT you can stretch one more year, but in terms of power generation, say you can earn your money within four years, four and a half years. So after that, it's going to be a much more higher than the polycrystal modules. And not only on uh, HIT, we also manufacture polycrystal modules and the mono and perk models too. And we have got a uh, warehouses all over India. We have got in Bivandi, we have got in Palwal for North, and we have got in South. And uh, we did installations close to 60 megawatt uh, in India. Uh, pioneers in the for uh, software companies and Jaguar in Vivadi, uh, close to 67 megawatt. And predominantly, we are focusing more on the rooftop application. Not only on EPC, we also do a module supply, and we take care of the OEM too. And uh, lastly, we are going to have a technology tie-up with the Tesla, which we started almost uh, close to one gigawatt of manufacturing, which has been applied in Buffalo in uh, New York. And uh, 350 megawatt has been already started. But next year, it will be close to one gigawatt of uh, thing. And we are also having a technology partner with uh, uh, Toyota with a, for the Prius car with the flexible uh, modules, which had been economically uh, viable. And with, uh, since we are also a battery manufacturer, Panasonic is a lithium-ion battery manufacturer. So we are a technology partner for even to Tesla also. So by this, I think I can conclude uh, it's a sustainable performance without compromise on Panasonic. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <coughs>